Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of creating beautifully blurred backgrounds using depth maps in Adobe Photoshop. Achieving a pleasing bokeh effect in your photographs can significantly enhance their visual appeal. So to get started, first check your Photoshop version to follow along with this tutorial. Ensure that your version of Photoshop is 22.0 or newer, otherwise the features we are going to discuss in this tutorial might not be available for older versions. So I strongly recommend you to update your Photoshop to get the best of it. Okay, all right, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of blurring backgrounds using the depth map in Photoshop. First of all, what is a depth map? Why is it so important to create realistic background blur? Well, depth map is like a special map that shows how far away different parts of a scene are from the camera. It helps create effects like blurry backgrounds, making the main subject stand out. The map guides the camera or software to know which parts to blur and which to keep sharp. It's like a tool for making photos look more interesting and realistic. With the help of depth map, we can easily create realistic background blurs and this effect helps draw the viewer's attention to the main subject by creating a smooth and creamy background blur. In this tutorial, we will explore how to create depth map and how to achieve background blur effect using depth map in Photoshop. Begin by launching the Adobe Photoshop and opening the photograph you want to work with. The image you choose should have a clear subject that you want to keep in focus while blurring the background. Once your image is open, navigate to filter tab in the top menu and select neural filters. Neural filters use artificial intelligence to enhance and manipulate images in various ways. For our purpose, we will use neural filters to create a depth map that will help us apply a realistic background blur. In the neural filter panel, locate and select depth blur tool. This tool uses AI to create a depth map based on the image's content. Initially, the tool applies a default depth blur effect to the photograph. While default settings might provide a decent result, but we have the option to fine tune the depth blur effect to our preferences. One important feature to note is the focus subject option here, which is usually enabled by default. However, in complex images with multiple foreground elements, this option might not work optimally. To address potential issues with the focus subject option, it's better to make manual adjustments to the focal point. First disable the focus subject option and look for the click to edit focal point feature. By utilizing this feature, we can take precise control over the area of the image that is intended to be in sharp focus. By simply clicking on the desired portion of the subject, often the eyes, a clear point of focus is established, ensuring that the primary subject stands out prominently in the resulting image. While the depth blur effect can be applied here by adjusting the blur slider, many photographers and photo editors prefer the more realistic results produced by the lens blur option. But if you want, you can apply the background blur effect here itself. It's totally up to you. Now scroll down in the neural filters panel and select the output depth map only option. Choose new layer as the output and click OK to confirm. The next step involves converting the newly created depth map layer into an alpha channel. To do this, go to the select menu and choose select all. Then head to the edit menu and select copy. Now move to the channels panel and create a new channel by clicking the plus icons. Paste the copied data into this channel by choosing edit and then paste. Afterwards, select the RGB channel and ensure that alpha 1 is invisible before returning to the layers. Now click on the layers tab to go back to the layers panel. Okay, alright. Now we don't need this layer anymore so you can delete it or hide it if you prefer. Now right click on the original background layer and duplicate it. This duplicated layer will be where we apply the background blur effect. Next navigate to filter menu then select blur and finally choose lens blur. This is where the magic happens. In the lens blur dialog box choose alpha 1 from the depth map source drop down. 
you might see so many options but choose the depth map source as all for one channel now enable the set focal point option and click on the same focal point you selected earlier in the depth blur filter typically these points correspond to the eyes of your subject now comes the creative part you can adjust the amount of blur and other settings according to your artistic vision if any part of the subject appears slightly out of focus manually adjust the blur focal distance to achieve a more natural and pleasing blur effect take your time to experiment with these various settings until you achieve the desired look once you are satisfied click ok to apply the lens blur effect to the duplicated layer now zoom in to observe the incredible transformation you will notice that the foreground is beautifully blurred the subject remains sharp and in focus and the background has been elegantly softened if you wish to enhance the background blur even further you can repeat the lens blur process on the duplicated layer this step is entirely optional and depends on your looks and preferences and the desired level of background blur before concluding this editing process take a moment to appreciate the difference compare the original image with the one where we have successfully achieved a professional looking background blur this technique can make a significant impact on the overall beauty of your photograph let's check out the another quick sample open photo in photoshop go to filter open neural filters now select depth blur and turn it on once the process is complete scroll down and check this option output depth map only set output to new layer and click ok now we need to convert this depth map layer to an alpha channel to do it press ctrl or command plus a to select all then press ctrl or command plus c to copy then go to channel and click on this plus icon to create a new channel now paste it by pressing ctrl or command plus v now select rgb channel and make sure alpha 1 is invisible then go back to layers now press ctrl or command plus j to duplicate the background layer go to filter blur select lens blur now in the depth map source select the alpha 1 channel enable set focal point and adjust the focal point if necessary now adjust the blur strength by adjusting this slider once you are satisfied click ok to apply and that's it friends here is before and after in conclusion the art of blurring backgrounds using depth map is a valuable skill that you can elevate your photography to new heights through manual adjustments thoughtful focal point selection and creative experimentation you can transform your images into captivating works of art that draw viewers attention to the main subject while creating a dreamy and immersive background and remember that practice makes perfect so keep refining your technique and experimenting with different settings to master this skill that's it for this video friends thanks for watching please subscribe for more tutorials and tips don't forget to like share and comment stay tuned for our next video take care and happy editing